The week that followed was filled with surprises. It seemed the McDonald house had suddenly been invaded by an army of invisible elves, and good things were happening everywhere. I'll have to finish that story later. I'm glad you've come again. Nice to see you. The week has gone by quickly, hasn't it? And here we are together in my office at Queens Avenue United Church. I'm glad you're here. You can see that I've got the fire on to warm up my room. And there's a chair here for you or here. You can sit together and sit around the table and the fire and have a good conversation. And of course, I would want you to have a cup of hot cocoa and a biscuit or a cookie or a piece of chocolate. I'm so excited for Christmas. I can't hardly stand it. You know, on Christmas Eve, when I go to bed, I often don't fall asleep. I'm so excited. All these years later, I wonder what it's like for you on Christmas Eve when you crawl into bed. I'm so excited. Look at that. Another angel is on the tree. I wonder if it's one of those famous elves that we all know about, adding angels to the tree. Well, you know, there's a, another story of an angel that came to the shepherds. Long ago, when farmers had sheep, they kept their sheep in the fields or the hillsides where they could graze all the time, where they could feed on the grass. And they were there morning, noon, and night, and overnight, and they stayed there for long periods of time. And they were cared for by shepherds. Shepherds would eat with the sheep, eat their food with the sheep. They would sleep near the sheep so the sheep could be protected from whatever might be dangerous. Well, one night, an angel came to the shepherds and guess what they said? Don't be afraid. You see, shepherds don't see angels very often at all. And when this one appeared, they were very frightened. And the angel said, don't be afraid. And they said, we want to tell you some good news. In the little town of Bethlehem, a baby has been born. A baby that will be the son of God. And you will find that baby in a place where the animals stay. And that baby will be sleeping on a bed of straw. That's what the angel said. And then you know what happened? Not one, not two, not three. There was a whole choir of angels. And they began to sing. It was a very special night. I wonder what it would have been like for the shepherds to see that angel for the first time. I wonder what it would have been like for the sheep to see the angel. <clears throat> I wonder what it would have been like for the angel to say, that child will be the son of God. And I wonder what it would have been like for the shepherd to hear that. And can you imagine what it would have been like to have a whole choir of angels 
sing a magical song. Gloria. Wow. Well, would you look at the time? Our time has come to an end. But I hope you'll come back one more time so I can tell you what happened at the very end which was really a very big beginning. Until then, I hope you're safe. I hope good things happen to you this week. <clears throat> and when you see something that is so amazing and so beautiful and sounds like a choir of angels, <clears throat> remember what the angel said. Don't be afraid. Until then, bye for now.